three people after some hesitancy uh, stood up. He wanted to know if I was going to stand. I told him I was not, and he told me he would have me arrested. I told him he may do that. Hi, everybody. My name is Shauna, and this is the American English Podcast. My goal here is to teach you the English spoken in the United States. Through common expressions, pronunciation tips, and interesting cultural snippets or stories, I hope to keep this fun, useful, and interesting. Let's do it. Hi, everyone. Hope you're well. This is episode number 122. In that introduction, you heard Rosa Parks, who was a civil rights activist and has been named the mother of the freedom movement. Most people know Rosa Parks as the woman who refused to give up her seat in a bus for a white passenger at a time when black and white Americans were segregated by law in the South. Rosa's act at the right place in the right time triggered a number of other events in the civil rights movement. She has a very intriguing story, and you're going to hear that story of strength and courage in part two of this episode. It's inspiring, and it'll make you want to stand up and fight for what's right. Be sure to stay tuned for that. In part one, we'll be going over the expression once in a blue moon. As usual, We're going to begin with a joke. Are you ready? What did the moon say to Saturn? Any ideas? Give me a ring sometime. (laughs) Ooh, that's one cheesy joke. Saturn is the sixth planet away from the sun. And in our solar system, it's the second largest. You might have an image in your mind of Saturn. And if you've got the right planet, you're thinking of the one with the very obvious rings around it. NASA's website told me there's actually thousands of them. The humor in this joke comes with the wordplay, as usual. To give me a ring means call me. I could tell Lucas, I'll give you a ring when we leave the house. In other words, I'll call you. Let's hear the joke one more time. What did the moon say to Saturn? Give me a ring sometime. (laughs) Let's move on to the expression of the day. We'll learn the individual words of once in a blue moon. Once means on one occasion, one time only. The girl has only been to Italy once but she's dying to go back. In is a preposition that indicates that whatever it is is enclosed or surrounded by something else. Right now, I'm in my house. Walls are surrounding me, so I'm inside. A is an indefinite article. I want a nice car, not a crappy one. Blue, blue is one of the three primary colors along with red and yellow. My dad's eyes are blue. A moon is a large, round object that encircles the Earth, so it orbits the Earth, and shines bright at night when it reflects sunlight. As an idiomatic expression, we use once in a blue moon as a sort of frequency adverb. So it's an adverbial phrase. It means... Rarely, hardly ever, not often at all, or very seldom. And I like very here because when something happens once in a blue moon, it's extremely rare. You're not used to it happening. The literal definition of a blue moon, according to Britannica, is the second full moon in a calendar month. Since Full moons appear every 29.53 days. It's actually a rare occurrence to see a blue moon. But don't be deceived, the moon is not blue. It's just referring to the second time that full moon occurs within the month. 
So you'll see a blue moon once every 33 months or 2.7 years. And once again, it's not blue. (laughs) It's just a regular full moon. When I typed in blue moon into Google, a bunch of images appeared of blue moons. So naturally, I wanted to know, is there such thing as a blue moon? A moon that actually looks blue, that has a blue tone or a blue hue or a blue shade. Maybe this is my lack of knowledge about space. But in any case, space.com says that if in the atmosphere there are the right properties at play, you can see a blue moon. For example, quote, if there's been a recent forest fire or volcanic eruption that pumped significant smoke or ash into the upper atmosphere, it is possible for the moon to take on a bluish hue. To take on means to adopt or to get. So, and then hue is also a shade, right? A shade of blue. The chance of that happening is also very rare. So we've got this rarity in there. Everything's rare about a blue moon. And that's the same meaning as the idiomatic expression. It's rare, extremely rare. So let's go through some examples. Example number one. My husband goes to the salon to get his hair cut only once in a blue moon. Instead, he always relies on me to cut his hair. He goes to the salon extremely rarely, usually, actually, only if he's traveling and desperately needs it cut. Example number two, I've had my friend Liz on this podcast a few times. She's a good friend and she now lives in L.A., which is great. And her house is in the heart of Hollywood. Does Liz see celebrities often? Nope. Only once in a blue moon. Even though she lives where they frequently walk and run, she only sees famous faces once in a blue moon. Very rarely. Example number three. Among my group of friends who do not have children and who tend to have a little bit more time in the evenings, there's a common topic of conversation about what is being watched on TV. So on Netflix on Hulu, on Prime, and I always feel like I have no input. I have to tell them I only watch adult shows once in a blue moon. In other words, I seldom watch adult TV. Normally, unfortunately, TV revolves around shows for toddlers, which is thanks to my two daughters. Can you think of an example of how to use once in a blue moon? Be sure to post on our Instagram page at American English Podcast. Once again, when something happens once in a blue moon, it happens rarely, hardly ever, not often at all, or very seldom. Let's move on to the pronunciation exercise. We're going to use the phrase once in a blue moon. Repeat after me. Once. Once in a. Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. And the conjugation, repeat after me. I go there once in a blue moon. You go there once in a blue moon. He goes there once in a blue moon. She goes there once in a blue moon. It goes there once in a blue moon. We go there once in a blue moon. They go there once in a blue moon. Notice how I do not separate once in a blue moon. It sort of sounds like it's one word, once in a blue moon, right? Once in a blue moon. That's it for the first part of this episode. Be sure to listen to part two if you want to learn all about Rosa Parks. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. 
Thank you for listening to this episode of the American English Podcast. Remember, it's my goal here to not only help you improve your listening comprehension, but to show you how to speak like someone from the States. If you want to receive the full transcript for this episode, or you just want to support this podcast, make sure to sign up to premium content on AmericanEnglishPodcast.com. Thanks and hope to see you soon.